Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to enable or disable the WYSIWYG editor in Magento. That's right. So let's jump across to Magento and show you where these settings are hiding. So we've been jumped across to our Magento admin and of course follow us along in your system. And Dave, actually, before I go and look at the settings, let's just point out where these are. So I'm going to go into catalog and manage products. So I'm going to pick up a random product, which we've got in here. And I'm going to scroll down. Now, our Magento pages or product page is going to look very different to yours. OK, and the reason for that is because we've set up Magento to sell on to eBay, onto Amazon. And we've also got some extra price attributes, which we've added. So if it does look different, don't panic. It's still Magento. We've just added in additional attributes. Now, the WYSIWYG editor, again, our advice is that you've set it to be disabled by default. OK, not completely disabled, but just disabled by default. And the reason for that is that the Magento's what you see, what you get editor is known to chew up advanced HTML. So if you come in here and you have the WYSIWYG editor enabled, OK, like so, or maybe on a static block or on your pages section, we would actually suggest that you've got it disabled, but you can set it to enabled. Again, it's personal preference, but we would still suggest that you have it disabled for any form of advanced HTML. So the setting which you're after is really simple to find. Go up to system, down to configuration. Now, Dave, this one's hiding underneath content management, isn't it? Ah, there it is. Yes, general content management. So underneath general, down to content management, and we've got a section in here. So if this isn't expanded, okay, just click on the blue bar at the top and expand that out. And Dave, can you see on here, I've got it to disabled by default. Yes. Now, the reason why we selected that option is because from time to time, you might want to turn it back on because one of the other options in here is disabled completely. So would that remove the button that allowed you to turn it back on, yeah? Yeah, it's not there. There's no button. You can't turn it back on. Tough. You're not going to be using WYSIWYG. Yeah, exactly. So we've got it set as disabled by default. That's what we would strongly suggest for you. You can enable it by default or you can turn it off completely. But what we would suggest is disabled by default, just in case you want to go back and turn it on. And another little tip there for you, make sure you use static URLs for media set to no as well, because otherwise it will put the URL in there. And of course, if you change the web address for your website, they'll all be pointing to the wrong addresses. It won't auto redirect. Exactly. So with that said, if you have made a change, press save config in the top right hand corner. And it's as straightforward as that. So from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.